Hi, this is David Helms with Radius Networks. Today I want to go over with you an application that we call Mac Beacon. And Mac Beacon is an app that we use quite frequently when we are working on developing iBeacon proximity solutions for our customers. The nice thing about Mac Beacon is it allows you to create a library of virtual beacons with different profiles and then you can turn them on and off and switch between them very easily so that you know as you're iterating through the solution that you're working on you can test to see if any of your changes um, are, are no longer making the proximity part of the solution work correctly and you just test that by using your virtual library of beacons so let's uh, let's start Mac beacon and take a look at it here so it's a single window application and it's got uh, two views you've got the master view here and the detail view here. In the master view, you've got a list of iBeacon profiles. Uh, and each one of those items in the list have a status icon, as well as a human readable, meaningful name or label. Uh, and then uh, also some status, status text to tell you if the beacon is on or off. Uh, you can turn a beacon, you can select a beacon just by clicking on it. Uh, and view in greater detail the, uh, the attributes that make up the profile. Uh, you can also turn a beacon on or off by double-clicking it, uh, as well as uh, just go over here to this button and turn it on and off. You'll notice that the status here changes, the status here changes, the icon changes as, as well. Okay, so if we want to make a new beacon profile, then we just click on the add button down here and give it a meaningful name. Now if you if you use the same uh, uh, UUID attribute uh, uh, a lot then you may just want to you know cut and paste something in there. If you need to come up with a, a unique UUID uh, for your customer that you're working with uh, then there's a UUID generator here as well so you can just generate UUIDs that you like. Um, now, these attributes here, the name, as I mentioned, is just a meaningful label that you can use, right? The UUID, the major, the minor, and the power, those are the actual values that are transmitted by an iBeacon and that are received by mobile devices uh, when they're in proximity to that beacon. So the UUID, the major, and the minor, all together represent the unique identifier for that beacon. The UUID is the organiza organizational portion of that identifier. The major, you might think of as a group identifier. So you have a collection of beacons, maybe in a city or in a, a particular shopping mall or a sports stadium. You might identify them all as part of a group, and that's what the major identifier generally is used for. Then the minor identifier is the individual component. So uh, within this organization and within this group, then the minor is which specific beacon are we talking about. So those three together make up the identity of the beacon. And then this last value, the power, or really measured power to be more accurate, uh, this is a value that is transmitted that is supposed to represent what is the received signal strength that a device will get if it is one meter away from the beacon. So by calibrating that value um, and then sending it to the receiving device, the receiving de device, in this case, say an iPhone, can then uh, reasonably accurately estimate the distance from itself to the beacon. And that's how you determine how far you are from the beacon with relatively good accuracy. The, um, precision is in the range of about a meter or so. Uh, it's better when you're close, and it's less accurate the more farther away that you are. There's just more opportunity for interference, attenuation, things that can affect that signal strength. Okay, So if we save that profile, now I've added myself a new beacon here, which once again I can just turn on, and now I'm transmitting this unique combination of values as an iBeacon to anyone that is in the area. Uh, and turn it off again. If I want to switch between that and another beacon, so it's, as you can see, it's really helpful to be able to quickly um, change and swap between beacon profiles. Uh, one example of that is uh, the CES 2014 scavenger hunt uh, that, uh, as I'm recording this right now, occurred just last week. So this is a project that we're, we worked on for CEA, for the CES show. And uh, 
if we take a look at it, uh, no, I'm clicking on that here. Um, if we take a look at it, this is the CES app that you're looking at right now, and this is the main menu item. Uh, so uh, I'm going to click on the scavenger hunt, and uh, let, let's just start over. So we'll start from scratch, and we'll start the hunt. Okay, let's, so let's say I've been iterating on this app, and I want to make I've made some changes. So I just want to go through and make sure that all of the badges for the various areas where iBeacons are going to be uh, installed and deployed. Make sure that those all work. So as you see, I've been, as I've been working on this, I created um, a bunch of corresponding iBeacon profiles here in Mac Beacon. So I can uh, simply just turn that beacon on and see that, okay, that badge is working good, so I didn't break anything there. Let me double click on this one, and, um, and just very quickly, I don't have to have nine different beacons set up and uh, deal with the fact that you know they are uh, generally getting batteries in and out, or some of them may, be, may have a switch, different models from folks, but uh, you know that, that can be a real pain to, to actually test with. So it's really powerful for you to be able to just uh, quickly walk between all of these devices and make sure that your app is continuing to function the way that you expect it to as you're you know, adding new functionality or fixing bugs or making changes. So here, so we've completed the entire um, scavenger hunt. I have all my badges and now I've got my congratulations. I've won. Um, you've successfully completed the scavenger hunt. Proceed to the press room to redeem your prize, and then you know the app gives you a redemption um, ID that you are supposed to present. Uh, so that is, you know, that's how the scavenger hunt worked. And you can see it's very easy for us to go through and as we're making changes and developing this app uh, to make sure that the behavior of the app is going to be appropriate and what we expect. Okay, so that is Mac Beacon. Uh, it is available at the link that you should see down below this video. Um, we've tried to make it very inexpensive. It's only, I think, $9.99. So you should pick it up and you should use it. It's very, very helpful. Thanks a lot.